Okay, boys and girls, Dan here. Sports fans as well. How are you doing? I'm knackered. Th day three. Is it day three? It feels like day 23. Uh, SAP Tech Ed in Las Vegas. And I'm here with some very good friends. Graham from Australia and Josh from Australia. And I got them on here because, you know, these guys come a very, very long way, often on their own dime. And... Um, we're hoping they're going to take something away that's going to be valuable. But, I mean, you guys tell me. Graham, how are we doing? Um, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm flying out this afternoon, and I'm so happy that I'm going. I just, so should we just do the next five minutes of sleep? I, 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 <laughs> you know, I, uh, this is the first tech ed I've, I've ever arrived at, not jet-lagged, because I uh, came into the States a week early and did a bit, of a, a, a bit of a vacation and a bit of a road trip to Vegas. But I then peaked too early. I, I went out the very first night, drank too much, stayed up too late, peaked too early and have self-inflicted jet lag ever since. So uh, just no, well, it's not self-inflicted jet lag, is it? I mean, well, come on. You, can, you can call it It feels that. much the same as when I had real jet lag. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so I'm really tired, but I've I've enjoyed the show. I um I I love Tech Ed because it gets me face to face with the people that I uh, interact online with primarily throughout the year. You get to talk to them, you get to see them. People like yourself, you know, Josh and I came from the same country, but you know we're five thousand miles apart. But basically, Is he's, that in, right? he's in Perth, I'm in Sydney. So even right. even the Aussies and other people in my part of the world, I get to see them. So for me. Um, Tech Ed is a great opportunity to, to, to meet these people face to face, to talk to them, to find out what's going on, to see their reactions to what's going on as well. So that, that'll always be the most right. important thing for me at Tech Ed. Right. Josh, I'm going to shove this thing up your nose. Go on, help yourself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is my first time uh, in the US and, and first you're, time. You're a Tech Ed virgin. I'm a Tech Ed virgin. Um, not, any, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, not after this week. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've loved the experience just, uh, you know, as, as Graham said, um, a lot of people that he's, he's probably met at least, you know, uh, yeah. before, uh, these are all people that I'm meeting for the first time in person and, and having, uh, um, you know, communicating. No, no, I've, I've <laughs> met him a few times. But uh, for, all, for all, most of the US, you know, um, you know, people online, it's the first time I'm meeting them. And so it's been just a great experience getting to, to network and build that relationship face to face. Right. Uh, and, and I've really enjoyed a lot of the mentor sessions we've been doing as well. Right, okay. Okay, gentlemen, Graham again. What are you going to take away from this good stuff? Um, there's a couple of things uh, that are top of mind for me at the moment. Um, too good, one not so good. Um, uh, the good stuff for me was I, I enjoyed um, Vishal's keynote. I especially liked the way that he... In, in Last year he got a couple of his direct reports up to have a chat to him on stage and say what they were doing. I think uh, Bjorn Gurker and possibly Sanjay. This year he got all of them up there. And so I quite liked um, that compartmentalised, what his responsibilities were and what those responsibili uh, responsibilities were very nicely for me. And I liked uh, the um, renewed focus on the <coughs> user experience. Yep. Um, Sam Yen's role in, in, in uh, looking at that user experience stuff. I unfortunately didn't get a chance to meet with Sam uh, this week, but hopefully I'll catch up with him later to see how he thinks that's going to work because user experience crosses everything, right? Yep. So, uh, so I don't know how he sees that going forward. Might even forward. improve your own applications, right? It couldn't hurt some of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so I enjoyed that. The, I, I like that renewed focus. SAP have had a renewed focus on UIs over and over and over again, you know, um, and, uh, and it's, it, you know, to the point where Vishal... It now jokes about how wonderful the UI is and stuff like that. So I don't know, you know if he's joking or not. That's yeah. the problem, isn't it? <laughs> well, there's a lot of laughing going on when yeah, he talks about how great yeah, it is. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I enjoyed that. I, uh, um, I, I liked uh, some of the messages that I was getting around the developer engagement. You know, SAP have done some remarkable things, especially this calendar year, you know, um, uh, really crossed some major, major Rubicons for them that they'd never done before around developer engagement. Uh, but uh, I was getting a sense that they'd there was a feeling that maybe they'd done enough and were patting themselves on the back. So I was very happy to hear in a, in a meeting with Vishal him say, yeah, we've done a few things, but boy, have we got a long way to go. Uh, I was happy to hear him say that. Um, I, I hoping that message keeps going down through the organisation. And one of the other things that's just popped into my head as well is that when we, um, we had a, a session with Bill McDermott, um, it, Vishal's been saying for a long time that about intellectual renewal and some of those phrases. There were a couple of others as well. It's nice to hear Bill say the same phrases, you know. Uh, finally, um, you finally got the message. Yeah, there, yeah. Right, yeah right, right, right. It was nice to him to say the same things in the same way, yeah, you yeah. know. And uh, and I, I don't get much time to see Bill speak, so I don't know if that was a new he's thing good, or isn't things he? he's like. Good. He is good. Isn't he's um, yeah. He could sell something to me. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and I'd be a tough sell. So I like that. The thing. Um, 
that I, again I'm seeing and disappointing me a bit is is uh, my my favourite community, uh, the people that do what I do, my the professionals in the industry that I work in, which is the ad app developers, um, just aren't as a, as a group aren't upgrading their skills, aren't learning new stuff. Uh, uh, the number of people... Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me understand this. What's disappointing you is what your own people are just not doing... The what? people that are, that are, are my peers. Okay. The people that are my peers. You know, the people that, right. that are, that are, that are, are, are app developers, there are a phenomenal number of them out there that just don't seem to get it, you know. Um, uh, that is no surprise. Ab -ab develop well, I, it's not a surprise, but I've, I've been trying for 10 or 12 years in various ways. First first encouraging and mm. presenting and saying, guys, you need to do this, upgrade your skills, keep your skills going up. Then I've started conjoling them, then I've started hitting them on the head. And I remember last year in a, in a session with Thomas Young, I pointed right at the camera and said, you're the problem. Um, <laughs> at, and is that still true? Yeah, I, I think it is. I, there's a lot right. of people here. I, I was in a, a, in a harness session. Um, and uh, some of the questions were were surprisingly basic questions about HANA, because uh, you know, HANA, HANA, HANA is everywhere and has been everywhere for a, a while. And there were uh, there were several people I spoke to, ABAP developers. So so you know, if I was talking to a random on the street of Las Vegas and they didn't know what HANA was, you know, they think it's another cas new casino going in down to sound. I understand that, but uh, for an ABAP developer to arrive at this show. And not have heard of Hana before. Um, it's uh, frightening. It astounds me. It's frightening. Yeah. Astounds me. Okay. And I, I somewhere inside me, I have a blog about this, but I'm not quite sure how it's going to come out yet. <laughs> Josh, yourself. What are the, what are, what are a couple of good takeaways? So, uh, so I, I focus on business intelligence and data warehousing. So, uh, a lot of my interest was around the real-time data platform that they're starting to, to put the message together with. And uh, you know, we uh, participated in some of the uh, global comms roundtables, and we had a session with Irfan as well. And uh, I, I think they they appreciate they've got a while, uh, you know, uh, um, some work to do to bring this together into uh, um, a, a great thing. But they're, they're starting and embarking on that journey, and they're really looking at um, how we can provide feedback to help them to achieve that. Do you feel confident about that? Uh, yeah, I do. I, there's a, they, I think the technology, there's a lot of overlap and um, that gives them a really good starting point and there, there is a bit of confusion in that there's so many products but there's so much technology, <coughs> technical capability in, in their, their products to, um, to bring it together. Um, you know, I've got hands-on experience with, with a lot of these technologies, so Sybase IQ and I've been working with Hannah from the BI side as well and uh, I'm really excited about where it's going um, in that direction and I think the other thing is um, I, I think there is... <coughs> Um, a, a lot of interest, you know, uh, the BI community is no different from the rest of the SAP developer community in that we're, we're, we're so passionate about where the product's heading and, and we can be, you know, the, the most uh, biggest supporters of the product as well as the, the most critical. Uh, and so it was a really great opportunity to, uh, to meet with some of the product development teams and solution management teams for business intelligence and, and data warehousing and the database portfolio and give them some of that direct feedback. Uh, so uh, to be different, um, I, I think... Um, more uh, transparency in where they're heading. You know, the, some of the stuff that was shared with me this morning is, is I haven't heard of before and it, it just blew me away about the, the, um, the amount of work they're putting into um, the next generation of BI tools. And, and um, I know they're sharing that at TechEd and, and one of the challenges for me was just not having enough time. I, I didn't get to hardly any lectures or, or QA sessions because we had so many mentor sessions. And, but it, there was so much content provided and I think it, I, I'd almost like if I had more time, I think next year at TechEd to, to sit in more of these sessions because they are starting to provide that transparency and it's really appreciated. Well, there's never, never enough time on or off camera, so I'm going to throw you guys off in a minute. Last word. Graham, come on, give it to me. Uh, I'm going to Madrid, so I'm really looking forward to Madrid. I, uh, uh, it'll be good to see a technical audience and a business yeah, audience Madrid together. Yeah, well. I'm going to Madrid because uh, I, I know a couple of people who live in Spain, and uh, they tell me it's very, very nice. Um. <laughs> um, so uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, and it's really only a month away. Yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, so for me, it's looking looking forward to Madrid, um, and uh, and I'm probably going to have a conversation with a few people about developer engagement. Okay. 
Would you yeah, I, um, I'd pick up on that. I mean, I'm not going to Madrid. Uh, not as lucky as Graham, but uh, f for anyone who's involved in the SAP community, you know, there's so much content now being put online, like you know, all the live streaming, the work that you do, and, and John. Um, I'm going to be watching the keynotes from Madrid, and I'm really interested in what's happening. And even if it means staying up late and you know, just actually consuming that information that's been put out there, it's so important for me in terms of where you know, um, uh, my my career. So I think it, I'd encourage everyone to to take advantage of of the work that SAP and and the community put into making sure this content is online. Well, boys and girls, these folk have travelled an enormous distance, and I'm always grateful for people coming on the show, but especially show, especially so for our friends from Australia. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you.